you can have you can introduce artificial cycles. You can do that, but there are ways to protect. It's kind of protected against. But you can never get a, a natural order one cycle uh, because these things are orthogonal to one another. Um, no, I forgot the point that I was going to make, which was... Does it converge? So, I'm sorry? Does it al always converge, even given these orthogonal functions? Um, well, it can... It either converges or it fails to converge. That maybe sounds facetious, but it, never, it can never go into a, a state in which it will never be able to converge. Um, no, that's not true. What am I trying to say? got to be careful about it to get the, the wording right. Yeah. Right. So, well, and you can also have oscillations, but oscillations can be by design as well, right? You say... Yeah, but in this package manager example, you can give a really nice kind of specific example. Right. The package manager has its defects that we can't change. We mm -hmm. want to deploy it using CS engine. Can I put it out on my data center and expect if I wait, if I'm patient enough, it will converge and correctly deploy, or am I going to suffer the inevitable weaknesses of the package manager and not be able to converge? The answer to that is unknowable. Uh, it's possible that CF Engine might be able to overcome the limitations of the or the failures of the package manager just by luck, <laughs> if you like, repeated luck, kind of like Monte Carlo approach. Um, but there's no guarantee that it could happen. Uh, basically, you're limited by the semantics of the package manager in that case. Pot luck, you may be lucky, right? Well, I guess, uh, technically, one of the package manager steps might effectively be a uh, non compatible promise. A good example would be setting the password file permissions differently. Yeah, but that's a change. That's engineering the package manager behavior, right, which I'm fine with doing. But then you have to understand how CF Engine expects to behave. So you're, you're, you're opening up the package manager. It's not yeah. a black box. Right. Right. To make this really concrete, the, the particular problem I have in mind is that you know, I'm, I'm playing with Packard data. And I have this minimal kickstart config. And it puts a version of, of Vim on the central system. And when I get to a later part in, in the Vagrant stuff, and I want to put Vim in hand, no, you can't because the common is already blah, 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 blah. And so I try to remove, remove that. And it says, well, you got sudo depends on this. So there's all these dependencies on this thing that was installed very early in the Kickstarter process. So that, that kind of it puts a defect in there early on in the process. And so I'm wondering how can, how did the innards of CF Engine, can, can, do they, is there a mapping that knows enough about the No, I mean, that information is not re revealed by Yum in order for anyone outside the agent to be able to see it. I mean, outside of Yum to be able to see it. Of course, you could try to rewrite Yum, but no, CF Engine can't solve that, which is one reason why um, the packages, the handling of packages is just a complex thing. And I would love to actually invent a new package manager which was promise oriented, which, could, which didn't have these deficiencies. Because I do believe that that is possible. Last question, um, and then I'm going to wrap up, and we can do it informally afterwards so that people can uh, can go. Yes. So very briefly, Nick, um, and I'm glad that you kind of touched us on this issue. And this is, is one of my questions: Is this uh, uh, is is uh, I don't know? Is it possible maybe for CF Engine to start considering you know managing packages in this far superior way? Because it is the package system, and it has been the package system, as long as I've been in the XSAT, that forces systems to become promise in order to achieve relatively simple goals. And I actually it's don't. Prom, you know, promise theory and what we're seeing in configuration management now. You know, most of the problems that I've had um, with systems partially come at scale. That's true. I could mean, do a lot at scale with nothing more than kickstart. But the reality is that when I have to start going back into those systems and making small changes and keeping track of them and doing all of that, that's when a tool like CF Engine, like Chef, that's when it becomes a necessary tool to use because of the packages 
and those packages can even be you know, bits of software. I really like the point. Um, so the thing that's missing from package managers is model orientation, a strong model uh, to build on. And even things like Docker and Golden Images, AMI management is not going to solve this without a, a model. Um, regardless of whether you do runtime convergence or, or convergence of the image before you deploy it, you're still going to need that stuff. When I wrote CF Engine 3, I actually asked the community, do you think I should write my own package manager or use the ones on the system? And everyone unilaterally said, use the ones that are already there because that's, what, that's the right thing to do. And I wasn't quite sure that was the right thing to do, but I did that. Now I, I sort of see that you know, there is room for a better package manager. I'm not sure anyone would use it, but you know, because these things are tribal. Um, but yes, we could make a lot of progress by, by having a better package system. Thank okay. you so much, everybody, for coming. Um, Promise 2014, 17th to the 19th. I would love to see everyone there. Come and join more discussion. If any of you are interested, there's actually a webinar as well that we're going to have with Forrester analyst uh, Glenn O'Donnell. He's one of my favorite people uh, in the... He, the guy who wrote the quote on the front of my book. We are going to do a webinar together on promise theory and some of these ideas, and so you'll hear it from industry analysts as well some of the challenges that are coming up. So fantastic uh, opportunity to join in on, on online as well. you got a couple of tickets to promise to give away. I've got a couple and of... And also a book to award and then 10 copies of Learning CF Engine 3. I actually think I've done enough right now. I mean, fair enough <laughs> me. So I'm going to say that Jonathan is going to help oh. me to give away these uh, books and, yeah. and tickets. Thank you very much. Thank you.